Black Body Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89, and today's Manga Nerdigan Live Reaction video is going to be for a couple of Cuckoo's chapters, 79 through 80. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and a kickin', feel free to hit up my Cash Up and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So, oh my god, where do I start? So last time I covered this manga, a Nagi movement had begun. And that is because, of course, I basically said that, you know, her hit song was about Nagi. And Nagi, you are fucking stupid. You are stupid as shit. Because Sagawa, you know, wants to talk with him. And it's just like, dude, why would you even consider talking to the Queen of Red Flag Kingdom who has made it clear that she would kill, she would kill out of, um, out of, uh, warheadness. Yeah, she not a Sour Patch Kid. She, that's beyond a Smucker's, um, level of jelly, a Smucker's Factory level of jelly. Now, this bitch is a full-on warhead. Why the fuck would you do- why? Why, Nagi? Just run the fuck away. Oh, I am so confused. I am so confused by this. Let I just take you out of this bog and save you from at least that bitch. Oh, God. Anyway, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us today. So we're starting off with chapter 79. Well, we got gorgeous cover pages here. Well, a gorgeous cover page and a gorgeous color spread. And, um... Ooh, and it's to celebrate the uh, anime adaptation that's coming out next year. Ooh, we got a Playboy Bunny spread. And we did... Oh, we saw a Playboy Bunny spread for um, Goddess Cafe Terrace as well recently. I love that we're getting these Playboy Bunny spreads. I live for this. All right, let's go. So chapter 79 is titled, So Tell Me About Your Summer Vacation. Hmm. Call me out at a time like this? That must mean good for you having your sweet love exposed like that on TV. Actually, since when did you start seeing Ison? Murder. That's what I would like to know. Dude, this bitch. No, why? Just, no, shit, this bitch is psycho. Run. That's the rumored Yukon. Ah, from the second year. <clears throat> and if I'm not careful, it could act. Why is this bad? Why would this be bad? And I'm not careful could actually happen. Well, this is bad. Why? Why is this bad? If he's talking about the murder, then yeah, that's bad. But if he's talking about, like, actually being with I, then that's... I'm confused. But I think he might be talking about the murder. But and it's still, why, though? At the very least, I need... The very least, I need to tell Sagawa-san, I need to You don't need to prove shit! Nagi, why do you need to- No, 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 no! Motherfucker, please smack him! Somebody punch this asshole in the face! The very least, I need to tell Sagawa-san, I need to prove to her that I'm innocent- No, you don't need to prove shit! Why would you need to prove that you're innocent? Why? Why? For what? She is not your girlfriend. She is not your waifu. And why would you want her to be? She has made it clear she is a psycho-ass bitch. She is a psycho-ass warhead bitch. Like, why? Why? Now, where was that? What? Oh, my God. Now, where was the guidance office again? Was it the second floor? Isn't that uh, Mochizuki Ai's childhood friend? I'm so jelly. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's a huge ass smuckers factory being built up in this bitch now. Um, what I give to be him. Uh, wait, wait, Nagi, why are you telling me about this? Are, are we best, no, he's not your best friend. He's not your guy. He's not your friend. No, you're not even your friend, and you're saying he's not your bro, and you're trying to say that he's your best friend, like, get the fuck out of here, get out of here. <laughs> Thank you, I don't recall, go away. But man, I didn't think you'd be going out with Aichan, even though you already like Hiro-chan, I guess I should be calling you um, Master instead. That's a misunderstanding. Um, 
there you go again. Come on, I get it. Get what? The dude's a pimp? Well, well, how blessed um, we are today. The Shogun himself makes an appearance. What? The realm has been thrown into a commotion. To be able to attend the same school as thou, we can we cannot be more proud. To think that the next star of the internet would have um oh my god. To think that the next star of the internet world had such a deep relationship. My lord, if you would would please bestow upon us your generosity. Oh my god! These assholes! <laughs> Oh god, buffoon! The buffoonery! The fuckery! It's all fine! Good grief! I didn't sign up for this! I didn't sign up for this either, doggy! And you're just as stupid! Because you want to talk to the queen of the fucking Red Flag Kingdom, who's probably gonna launch a warhead on your ass! Oh my god! She already has like a full-on Smucker's Refinery! It's even beyond a It's a beyond a Smucker's Refinery! It's a, uh, I'm sorry, Smucker's Factory. It's a Smucker's Refinery. And, like, she is drunk on full-blown industrial grade delusion. Like, why? Why are you, no, Nagi, like, just stop. Stop this. She looks like she has something to say, but the fiancé thing has, has to, and I mean has to stay, um, has to stay a secret here at school. And, that's why she she won't just talk to me? Crap, I need to hurry. Stupid Nagi coming. Don't you have any, uh, don't you have something to say to me? What is wrong with these people? What is wrong with them? Excuse me, Sagawa-san? I've been waiting for you, the one and only Yukon. Bitch, I hope, dude, I hope you launch a warhead at this motherfucker. I do. Cause I'm not talking about the weapon. I hope she, I shouldn't say I shouldn't say launch. I'm sorry, cause you all get it confused. I want you getting this twisted. I hope she goes full blown warhead. Cause this bitch be on Sour Patch Kid. This bitch be on Smuckers. Oh God, this bitch be on beyond Airheads. Nah, this bitch is a warhead. Uh, that's, so, um, regarding the ongoing commotion, from the beginning I intended to turn her down. Yeah? This really blew- Whoa, 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 From the beginning I intended to turn her down. Dude, shut up! You are just saving your ass right now, fucker. Yeah, uh, this really blew up, didn't it? Huh? She's not Dude, she is mad! She is mad! Huh? She's not mad? You've suddenly become famous, haven't you? Even though you, Ken, was supposed to be anonymous, it was totally obvious. I know, right? It's like I was a criminal. Damn fake news. So that's why I thought, why don't we study together? There aren't many people around here, and since there's a bit of a commotion in front of school right now, I imagine it must be hard for you to just head home right away. Uh, sure. See, Sagawa-san is looking out for me in her own way. She's just so nice. Mm-hmm. I call bullshit. There's something else going on here. Thanks for the save. It must be rough. Uh, the terms just started. Mm-hmm. So tell me about your summer vacation. Did you enjoy yourself? See? There's some ulterior motives here. Well, let's see. Thanks to you, I had a ton of fun. We ran off to elope, didn't we? That was very uncharacteristic of me. We didn't spend the night at the inn together, huh? Technically speaking, we didn't spend the night there. Um, and to top it off, there was the festival at your shrine. The four, uh, the four of you all tied for first place. Ooh, you just triggered her. But to me, that was a bit of a surprise. Surprise? You see, I really loved Ison Short Circuit. Me too, I only learned about it from you, though I re didn't really get it. The first time I heard that song, it really resonated with me. It was as if the song itself was about me. The things I thought and felt every day, all the stuff I wasn't able to say, I saw and captured um, uh, them in song. And the more I listened to it, the more it resonated with me. And I guess I eventually came to res uh, respect her. I thought it was incredible that there was someone like that in our generation. And just like that, I'd become a, a complete uh, Mochizuki fan. Uh, Mochizuki Eye fan. I had no idea it meant that much to you. I'll give it a proper listen sometime. 
And that's how I came to wonder if she would come to our shrine um, shrine for the festival. Even if the answer was no, I sent Ison's agency an offer over an email. Um, and it said here in the performance uh, offer, it said, and, um, uh, it's uh, been a pleasure hearing from you. We re received your request and we are pleased to inform you about your offer that an appearance is possible. Therefore, under the condition that our talent um, will appear as a secret guest and not be publicly revealed until the day of operations, we ask that you can kindly consider our terms. It says we sincerely apologize. Mm -hmm. This is going to be the greatest. I saw was originally a VTuber, so I thought that she'd um, only be singing user using her avatar. Ni hao, uh, ni hao, uh, konnichiwa. This is Mochi, uh, Mochizuki Ai. Beachuper! Um, I never thought she would be doing a face reveal. I see. I can't believe that. I can't believe that I never knew that my childhood fr uh, friend was such a famous person. And so that makes me the fool. E <laughs> oh, it just brought your true nature, bitch. That's what it did. <laughs> huh? The person who set up Ray was a uh, hottest couple. The center of atten everyone's attention is me. And that means that I'm only here as a comic relief for you. The two stars. I'm just a bit, a bit player. Oh, she's salty over that? She's, Nagi, she don't want you. She just, she pissed about that. I know, I'm so lame. I bet the two of you are still laughing about it, um, about it, about me even now. God. That's not true. It's not. And and so I, it's a long story, but no, why are you doing this? But if you just hear me out, I think you'll understand. Um, first, uh, starting from the beginning, I understand just fine. This is so annoying. Wait, Sagawa-san. Whoa, calm down for a second. Uh, um, what just happened? Did she just kiss his cheek or did she whisper something? She pulled and kissed his cheek? If you do me a favor, please don't. <gasps> if you do me a favor, please never speak to me ever again. Yes! Thank you, Sagawa. You did what I. Dude, I understand why she did that shit. Good for her. I went from hating you to respecting you, Sagawa, just for this. Woo, I, you bitch. I, I know what you did here. See, I pulled Nagi out of, uh, pulled Nagi out of that bug. That's when she did this. I, you sneaky bitch, and it worked. Because Sagawa, you fucked with Sagawa's pride as a woman. <laughs> Huh? What do you... Sagawa-san? Yes! Think again once you've calmed down. Uh, next time, Erica seems a bit off. Dude, I, I see, I see, I see. I said she pulling you out of this box. Ooh, she meant it. And bitch, I live in... Man, I, I, oh, was this a low blow? No, it wasn't. I'm going to read this chapter and I, stay tuned to the end because I will explain why this wasn't a low blow. Why it wasn't. Because I've had similar, I've been through it, not like a high profile situation like this, I've had to deal with ex-girlfriends, so I know, I know, I know what Sagawa dealing with, to an extent, but bitch, woo, I understand, now we get to chapter 80, Sagawa-san kissed me. If you do me a favor, please never speak to me ever again. Yet somehow she cut me she cut me out of her life with a smile. It's because of her pride, duh. In chapter 80 is titled, it's about my life too. Um 
after I and Nagi were on the, on the news, Hira wasn't the only one with something to say. Ooh, she's already told me that once before, but never speak to me ever again. For some reason, she kissed me this time. You want in 30, or, 30 words or less describe what the girl is feeling. <sighs> Even with the keenest mind in the whole class, I still have no idea. <sighs> the me is still here? Don't they have, the me is still here? Don't they have something better to do? Um, I suppose I can't just brute force my way through. I should just, I should just ask a teacher for help. Nagikun, now it's Erica's turn. Amana-san, uh, you're still here? Come here, I know a way out. Why do you know about this path? I, I use it to run from people trying to meet me, of course. They what? Actually, isn't it bad uh, for you to be with me right now? And didn't we promise that we wouldn't talk to each other at school? Why? Is this really the time for that? Well, yeah. Um, yeah, the top boys would be really bad. The two-timey man, uh, shocking betrayal, the whore, two-timey man, childhood friend, um, Mochizuki Ai, Yukon, uh, fiance, Asan. As a famous person yourself, it could be problematic, no? You have an overactive imagination, imagination Agikun, huh? School aside, out here on the streets, nobody cares. I, I guess so. Exactly. An overactive Im imagination, though? By the way, Nagikun, don't you have something to say to me? Huh? Um, that stuff with the eye charm is all a misunderstanding, and, and, I think it's best that I leave the next part out, and I guess, wait, what has she been up to this entire time? So, um, as your fiancé, there's something I need to tell you. The truth is, so you're saying that Hiro, Hiro-chan kissed you? Well, hmm. but despite that, she asked me to never speak to her ever again. Amana-san, uh, Amana-san? You saw it, didn't you? Huh? If you do me a favor, please never speak to me ever again. She kissed him. She didn't kiss him on the lips. It was just on the cheek. I didn't see nothing. You totally saw. In that case, you should have told me in the first place. Stop trying to test me like that. But... But there's no way that I could ever ask you about something like that. That's why? Yeah. Just as I thought. Things are different now, aren't they? Actually, no matter um, how you think about it, the top two students of the class together in a classroom all alone making out and stuff, that's what we call sh- Bing! Erica, you're fucking stupid. Um, that's what we call shameless. Shame? You're a pair of- <laughs> You're a pair of horn too, bitch! You are just being a Sour Patch Kid now! You're a pair of hornballs. Well- no, you're just being a sour patch kid. Stop, bitch. But she's already told me not to talk to her anymore. Oh, man. I, I just don't know what I should... Don't, don't talk to her! This bitch ain't worth it. Why? Why? She ain't worth it. This bitch is psycho. She says she wants to murder... She, like, threatened to murder. I. Because you... Because she confessed to you. This bitch is psycho. She ain't worth it. Ugh. What? All right, then. I guess there's no point in explaining. You just don't get it. W what? I'm so done. You can't just um, make us a couple like that and report on it like some affair. If you're going to kiss me, then don't tell me to stay away. She just kissed you on the cheek. It was a farewell kiss, you stupid fuck. My life is a total tr- Dude, I is trying to save you, you stupid fuck! They are just- uh. <sighs> Did you not remember what I said? That these bitches are dragging you down deeper and deeper into a goddamn bog. Oh. So go no, 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 no. Dude, this ain't worth it. This bitch ain't worth it. What? <laughs> Ouch, I flew a lot further than I wanted to. <laughs> That's Kara. You're just the worst, huh? Don't go taking things into your own hands. It's not all about your life. It's about my, uh, my life, too. Thank you, Erica. After all, you're my fiance. You know what, Erica? I Thank you. Thank you for kicking him in the face. He deserves that. Now that it's come to this, there's no way Daddy's going to keep quiet about it. I know. Come on. 
When we get back home, we're having a family meeting with Sachi-chan, the three of us. Yeah. Um, there's a lot to talk about, isn't there? Uh, that was refreshing. Um, all right. That was refreshing, wasn't it? All right. Right. Um, you, you gotta include, at some point, you gotta have I in this conversation, too. Um. Uh, I, I guess Amano-san is pretty reliable when it comes to this sort of thing. I'm so hungry. That's more like it. Hmm? Woo! Ah, yes, yes, yes. Speaking of, I've written a new song, so can you come over to my place? I want you to be the first to hear it. To the family meeting or to his passionate lover? Ooh, I cannot wait for this. I can't wait for this shit. Because the thing is that Nagi is just not understanding is not, this is one of those situations where usually I've been, uh, something I've been saying a lot is to think smart and not with your heart. This is one of those situations where you got to think with your heart on this one. You do. You, this is one of those situations where you got to feel, you got to follow, follow your heart on this one. And motherfucker, you are stupid for, and some, in the case of, um, however, in the case with Sagawa, that is where you gotta think smart because that bitch is psycho. She is goddamn psycho. You are a dumbass. You, he is being blind. I don't know why he's being so blinded. I think he's thinking with his dick at that point. If he's going up. Cause Sagawa to me, that isn't not love. That is infatuation. That is that that's not love. Uh 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 uh. When you have your heart skip a beat the way that we saw Nagi did with I, that is love. It'll be interesting to see what happens, but he needs to go see I to f figure things out. But I'm gl thank you, Erica, for fucking kicking him. But here's the thing with what Sagawa did and why I'm happy she did it. Sagawa, and, and I'll explain why, what I did wasn't low. Because what happened was Sagawa's pride as a woman was hit. It was bruised um, because of what I did go in public like this. And if... If Sagawa was secure with her, um, with, you know, her, with, uh, her feelings for Nagi and a relationship with Nagi, then she wouldn't have to be worried about this. Like for me, for example, I have, I've had to deal with ex-girlfriends before trying to steal back a man, but because my relationship was so secure and I was not worried about it. And if there was a slip, First of all, he'd tell me if there was a slip and I would not be mad because I know he'd be coming back to me. Here, they're not, first of all, they're not even in a relationship and Sagawa is insecure as fuck and her pride has been, been destroyed. So what does that tell you when Sagawa is not even willing to hear Nagi out? That her pride is destroyed, for one thing. And two, she don't even trust Nagi, period. Mm-hmm. And I think the other thing is, is that I think Sagawa knows. I think she knows that Nagi has feelings for I. She sees it. I think she, and I think the other thing is, is she doesn't want to go against society. There's that other thing that she doesn't want to go against society. You can make that argument as well. But a part of me is like, no, I think at the, the other part of me is like, no, at the festival, she saw it. She knows that Nagi is in love with, with I. Hence why she, you know, she made that, com the, made the comment that she did. But Nagi, you have to be a fucking moron to want to stay with this psycho bitch. She is goddamn psycho. But I'm glad Erica at least kicked him and knocked some sense into his ass. I feel bad for, I do feel bad for Erica though in this situation. I really do. 
but do does Nagi is but do I feel like do I feel like Nagi is in love with uh, Sachi or Erica? I don't know if he is in love with them like that. I think if anything, it'd be more like sis. What with Sachi, I think it's more sister, like little sister kind of thing. With Erica, I don't know. And yeah, you can make the argument that Sachi is a little bit of a gray area. Erica, it might be a little bit of a gray area as well, but I don't know. Just something. Just because why else would Sagawa be like this? Because Saga Sagawa wasn't like this with, with Sachi and Erica, and she knows the whole story. She knows what's going on. And she wasn't this insecure with them. But when it came to I, though, she, she got insecure fast. She did. You noticed that, right? I'm telling you. But what choice do you think Nagi's going to make here? Do you think he's going to go talk with his family? Or do you think he's going to go talk with I? Part of me thinks he needs to talk with I first to kind of figure out his feelings and then talk to his family on what what's going on because I feel like if he talks to his family first then they're going to try and like force him to do something before he even knows his feelings but at the same time I feel like at least I feel like I feel like um at least the family that raised him I th especially his mom I think she would be okay with it. Uh, I think she would tell um, Nagi to follow his heart. Just something tells me that. I, I don't know. I don't know if his biological father would feel the same. I don't know, but I know. Um, I know the other parents would be would probably tell him the same. I think they would. I think his no matter what. I think the family families would tell him the same thing. Go see I and go sort out your feelings. Figure out what you want to do. That's my opinion on this. But, oh, God, we got one warhead out of the way. Very curious what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this uh, channel alive and the kicking so I can keep bringing you more. Um... A couple of cuckoos content. There's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, find me on PlayStation Network. That is in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.